Beautiful Buccaneers, Falcor here. So the hype train has come into the station, and with only one day away from season 11, the discussion has gone critical, and everyone wants to know every facet of the new features coming. Some people not actually listening beyond the first few sentences. Then either sail or dive straight to it. Charlie, they've added fast travel. They've it up. Thankfully, I am one of the few who did listen, and furthermore kept a keen eye on Twitter, as the developers have been answering a lot of questions and concerns for things not talked about in both the video showcase last week. I often wish they'd cover things like this in the video itself so people stop coming up with silly assumptions, but, well, if they did that, that would put me out of a job. If you haven't seen the video yet, a link is appearing in the top right. Give that a look if you haven't already. So let's kick off with the most common assumption, fast travel. First of all, this isn't fast travel, at least not how it's done in other video games. For example, in other games, the sorcerer of Tumbleweed will say, You must travel through the forest of fire, a most treacherous area that only the most battle-hardened of heroes can traverse. And you're like, oh, okay. Hit fast travel and skip right by it. The diving function in Sea of Thieves is nothing more than a way to get your game started. As a plain example, let's say you wanted to start an Athena mission, you would die to the closest island to start that quest. But all of the tasks and other islands in that quest cannot be dived to. You have to complete the entire mission to be able to dive again for a new one. But you'll need to go sell up before diving again, as your loot will not go with you. Speaking on that, however, all your supplies, storage crates, and emissary flag will go with you if you dive. Diving will all also switch you to a new server. Diving works very similar to hourglass dives, in the sense of if another ship is near, and near being up to three map squares away, you will not be able to dive. You also need to complete whatever task you are on before diving again, whether that be a voyage, a tall tale, or a raid on a world event. Quitting the quest will put you into a 10 minute cooldown timer before you can dive again, so running isn't an option. Plus, you know, you'll lose all your loot if you dive anyway, so the chaser wins by default. Speaking of raids, players can now dive to world events. They didn't say this in the video, but all default world events are available. Skeleton Forts, Ashen Winds, Skeleton Fleet, and Phantom Fleets. However, the Fort of Fortune and the Fort of the Damned cannot be dive to. When you dive to a raid event, it will locate a server with an uncontested world event for you. This means it's impossible for another player to dive up on your world event. So don't worry, you cannot get caught with your pants down by a sudden appearance of a ship from beneath the waves. However, that doesn't mean that someone on the same server as you can, you know, just mosey along and have a look at what you're up to. So keep an eye on the horizon. Speaking of horizon, this is something they failed to mention in the video, but they answered over on Twitter. The Chest of Fortune has a new location, the Skeleton Fleet. Who remembers this cloud? Yes indeedy, the Skeleton Fleet now has a slim chance of occasionally becoming a Fleet of Fortune. It's still the same world event, but the captain ship will now drop a Chest of Fortune alongside its normal loot. Really looking forward to some insane battles with this one. I've always loved the chaos a contested Skeleton Ship event causes, but just like the Ford of Fortune though, the Red Ship Cloud is emergent and cannot be accessed via diving. But the Chest of Fortune will no doubt come with some new cosmetics and unlocks as you rise in reputation. Speaking of reputation, holy cow my segues are on point today. Another morsel of information left out of the video, all factions have their level cap raised to 100, but also when reaching level 100, you earn a distinction and roll back to level 1, earning yourself a ring on each finger for each distinction. And the rings are a separate cosmetic slot, meaning you don't have to sacrifice your favorite gloves to wear them. This means each faction now has a level cap of 500. And here's the part they didn't mention in the video, including Athena's fortune. But don't worry, Athena's Fortune has its reputation gain ironed out to match the other trading companies. So don't worry, 
you'll see at least Distinction Level 1 before the end of time itself, but it'll probably be close. Something they did mention in the video, but kind of glazed over, bottle quests. Yes, those annoying things that clog up your quest inventory, those will now be worth it. Massive payouts of the S-tier loot available, so you'll want to stop what you're doing and take part. Another awesome feature that was mentioned was diving to world events for your faction will result in the loot being generated suiting your faction, but will also drop a piece of rare loot tailored to your faction. This means that every trading company essentially has its own Athena chest. These pieces of loot also come with their own commendations and rewards. Honestly, really looking forward to this update. With a new quest table and everything being available from one menu, the infrastructure for Sea of Thieves feels like it's finally finished. A strong start to 2024, and it can only, hopefully, get better. A quick reminder though, all save quests will be deleted tomorrow, so if you have any Gilded Voyages or anything you want to get done, make sure you get it sorted. This does not affect Talltale checkpoints, however. A quick shout out to all my Patreon supporters, without you guys I couldn't continue to make content the way I do. And don't forget Twitch drops for everyone starting this Wednesday with a speaking trumpet that's as epic as a castaway chest, and I will be live for the majority of the Twitch drop days. Links below follow to be notified. But I will be live tomorrow on update day for a very long stream to dive in. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so we'll hopefully see you there. Enjoy the update guys and happy sailing. I said the word dive 20 times in that video. Subscribe for more. Dive 21. Thank you.